Hi guys, Becky here. Uh, today I'm up the woods again and I'm going to be making a Swedish torch. So last night was our first sprinkle of snow. Um, so it came down in the evening. It got quite cold, but uh, a lot of it is melted away now. and There's just little bits of it left. Um, but yeah, I think it's getting colder from this day onwards. So we might be seeing some uh, winter camps in the snow. So first off, I'm going to talk about why you should make a Swedish torch and what's so good about it um, when you could just make fire. So basically, a Swedish torch is where you get a log and you split it into how many sections, depending on what you want to do with it. And you have a little mini fire inside of the, inside of the log. So it basically, it preserves wood, so you don't need to go out cutting loads of firewood if you're, um, if you're running low on calories or if there's not much firewood all around, then one log can do the trick. If you wanted to uh, sterilize your water or cook something, you can just rely on one log. So the main benefits of making one is it's self-feeding the self-feeding fire um, so once you've lit it you don't have to really um, mess around with it maybe give it a bit of oxygen and that's about it um, it's got flat surface so you can cook on the top of it or boil your water something like that and lastly it's pretty simple to make so there's just um, a few few instructions how to make it and you don't need many tools, you pretty much just need a saw and a hatchet and that, that's about it and some uh, rope as well but you can find natural cordage to make make one of these so there is some natural cordage around but I'm going to stick to rope today maybe in a future video I will use some um, natural cordage and another great thing, it can burn for several hours without needing any attention. So it's a really good system and I'm going to have a go at making one today. Um, so I've just uh, cut a piece of pine, just a normal bit of pine. This is a softwood, so it'll be quite easy to make and it will um, light pretty well but you can use many different woods. You can make it how big or how small you want to make it. It depends what you're using it for. I just want to cook something simple that doesn't take much time, so I don't need a huge log. And also, it depends on the tools that you have with you. As I've only got a small hatchet, I can't chop really large diameters of wood. Um, so I, that, is is good for this hatchet otherwise you've got to start making um, wedges to split the wood there's many different methods of making a Swedish torch but I'm going to use the method I'm going to demonstrate in this video today um, so so yeah So what I'm doing now is I'm just um, shaving this side of the wood off so it forms a hole when I put the log back together. So um, I'm going to start in the middle and work my way down and then I'm going to swap over sides just to keep it safe. So if you're a beginner at using a hatchet, um, I know I'm not amazing so I just keep to these, these um, tips. So I put my finger behind the log when I'm working in the middle. Never work up here because you could slip and cut cut this piece of your thumb or your wrist. 
and the, the closer to the shaft you work, the more control over the axe. So like that, you've got so much control. And here you've got more momentum through the weight of the hatchet coming down, but you have less control. So like I said, I'm not very good on a hatchet. Um, so I tend to work around here where I feel um, I've got control over it. So yeah, start from the middle and work your way down. And then the further down you get, the lower down the, sh the, uh, the uh, handle you can come. The shaft, I mean. Now I'm gonna swap over and do this side of the log. So same rules apply keeping your fingers away from the, the sharp edge. But I think it's all practice really and the more you use a hatchet or an axe the more you get confident and uh, used to it. Hatchets are great as well because uh, they can do a lot more tasks than a knife can. So recently I've been using my hatchet a lot more, tr just trying to get used to it really. Um, and uh, yeah, I would carry a hatchet over a knife if I had to, because it can do a lot more different things. That's my opinion anyway. So I'm gonna do the same to all of the other three pieces of wood. And then I should get a hole when I put the log back together. And now I've got a hole through the middle. So because I've shaved the insides of each quarter, it's made me a hole through the, the log. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to try and make some feathers on, the, in the, on all of the inside of the logs. So it helps um, catch, so that lights the wood easier when I'm lighting the fire. So when I light this Swedish torch, it will make it easier and the flames will rise up the wood. Just gonna cut into the wood like that. Nothing fancy. Now I'm going to do the other side. So I've got my four pieces here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to lash them together with this rope to form the log shape again. Um, like I said earlier you can use you can use um, natural cordage tie it together or wire does a really good job but I've just got normal paracord with me today so there's my my log shape again so now that I've regained the shape and locked it in position with my knees my legs even um, I'm going to tie it together That's my timber hitch done. That kind of keeps the wood all together nicely. There is um, different ways of making a Swedish torch. 
this is just one of the ways I'm um, getting a log splitting it into four pieces and tying it back together again with a hole there's also the same sort of procedure but you stick it stick the pieces into the ground and you can have a Swedish torch with slit pieces of wood on like a, a torch there's various different ways of doing it and uh, I think it's good to try them all as you get more skillful and you learn different ways of working with wood um, so yeah that's just one of the ways you can do it there's other ways um, but I've chose to do this today maybe in the future I'll do try another technique of it I'm gonna break this up and put it down there um, so this is really flammable stuff um, I wanted it to be really dry as well so I collected it yesterday when I was out this birch bark and I uh, took it home for today but it's just getting stuck on the feathers that I've put on the log it hasn't fallen through don't worry um, I might put it on my leg though just in case it starts falling through the hole at the bottom Ooh, it's getting chilly now um, I think it's going to be minus 5 where, around where I am tonight I was thinking about staying out but uh, I decided not to So this is actually um, my first time uh, lighting and making a Swedish torch. This is a new experience. So I've placed it on some level ground and here I go with lighting it. Just gonna get all the, the the lighting things I collected out of my pocket, all the timber, and keep feeding it from the top. It's looking good so far. I can see it's caught on uh, some of the feathers. So now I'm just cooking a omelette over my Swedish torch. I got two pieces of hazel that are just there and uh, 
got two sticks so the pan could rest on there. got my omelette now. The Swedish torch is nearly burnt down. So you can see where the winds come from this way. It's burnt them logs quicker than the others. And uh, Buster's eating his dinner now. I gave him a little bit of the omelette. But yeah, that Swedish torch done really well. I rate that. That Swedish torch didn't take long at all to make. It was pretty simple once you knew what to do. So it was quite quick making it. And um, it supplied me with a lot of things. So it supplied me with heat um, to cook my food. So it supplied me with food. Um, it would have supplied me with light if it was dark. Um, yeah, and I could cook my food on it, I could boil water. Obviously if I made a bigger one, it would last for longer, so you could do more on it. Um, and cook more things, different things on it. Yeah. So, it supplied me with the, a lot of things. Even though it's just a small one log. Yeah, it does pretty well. I really like the idea. And this omelette tastes really nice. So it cooked a good omelette. So it's burning out now. So it's a great little fire as well. But it's kind of off the floor. The fire isn't on the floor. So it's pretty safe. And it's simple. Doesn't take up much firewood. So down here you can see the rope is starting to um, unravel and get burnt so that's where this design would be good to use wire instead of just paracord. So what I find amazing is the history on the Swedish torch. There isn't a huge lot of history but what I've been looking into is quite interesting. So. <sighs> The soldiers who fought in the 30 year war actually invented the design of the Swedish torch. So that took place in 1618, so a long, long time ago. So that just shows you how long we've known about the Swedish torch and how good it really is that we're still making and using them today. Um, so yeah, it's pretty legendary, the Swedish torch because we're still using it down the line now. So the reason they come up with this idea is because where they were fighting during the war, um, firewood was quite scarce and they didn't want to travel miles to collect uh, firewood for them. So they come up with this smart little idea of splitting the wood into sections and making a Swedish torch. Like I said, there's many different ways of making these, um, so they could have made, they probably made all different types, but um, 
yeah there's lots of different ways of making these to suit your environment this also helps the the soldiers conserve wood as it just takes one log to cook a meal or cook them two meals and a hot drink or purify their water so it does it does a lot depending on how big or small the log is so mine was fairly small log as I only had a little hatchet to work with um, and that cooked an omelette and it's still burning now so that did pretty well and then if you go onto hardwoods so if I had a big log of oak that would obviously burn for a long long time um, so yeah so I hope you've enjoyed this video it's uh, something a little bit different maybe go out and give it a try if you're if you think it looks quite cool so thanks for watching and take care